everyone, this is Ms. McManigal, and today we're going to select our classes for next year. So this is kind of exciting. You have your course request paper next to you, and then if you're on the district office's web page, you click up here the student button, and then we're going to go over here to where it says San Juan Portal. We're going to log in through where it says Q Student Portal. A new tab will pop open and over here on the left we'll enter our username and password. I'm pretending to be a student and then it will pop up with our tracks. So currently this student is a sixth grader in the 2018-19 school year and next year she will be a seventh grader. So this is that we want to look at our future track for 2019-2020. These are the classes we're, we're choosing for. So I'll click here and then over on the side where it says requests, I'll click this little plus sign if it's not up already to show requests and then I'll start adding my course requests for next year. So over here on the side where it says add or edit, right now I don't have any requests. So I need to go over here and add some for next year. So if I'm looking at my paper for seventh grade, the first thing I have to do is decide between English or Honors English 7. So I'm going to scroll down. I think I'm going to try Honors English 7. I really like to read. I'm going to add the selected class and then it will pop up right here. This isn't final, okay? but this is what I'm choosing for English. Then next is World History because I'm a seventh grader or Honor Social Studies 7. So I'm going to find World History. I would like to take that class. So I'll click there and then I'll add selected class. And then it will pop up here with my requests. I also see on my paper that I need to add PE so I found it and I will add it here. And then I need science. I think I'm going to do NGSS Science 7, which is Next Generation Science Standards. I'll add that class. For math, I only have one option, which is CCSS Math 7. So here it is. I will add that class too. And now the exciting part is I have my electives. So we're doing three choices this year and I have them written on my paper. My first choice was choir, so I'm going to add that. And then just in case there's no room in choir, it doesn't work with my other classes, I'm going to pick my first alternate, which is computer applications. So I'm going to add that class as well. Now choir is my first choice and computer applications is an alternate for choir. This is my second choice. So I have to go over here to the side and I have to specify that computer applications is my alternate for choir. So choir is my first choice. Computer applications I will get into if choir is full. And then I'm going to make a third choice. So I know that next year um, or two years from now in high school I will need to take a foreign language to graduate so I might be interested in Spanish and I will add that class. Now if Spanish is my third choice this is going to be my alternate for computer applications. So I will choose that and now I have I'll double check that I have English, math, history, science, PE, and my three elective possibilities and then I will click submit. And now this little green thing will show up and just disappear. It said updates are saved and here are my requests for next year. If I later decide that maybe I am interested in honor science or if my parents want to go in and look at it and make a change we can go on at home and I can click add or edit requests and then maybe I'm interested in that honor science class. So I'm going to delete this one by clicking the X and then I will find honor science
oops, it's NGSS. That's why I'm not finding it. NGSS Honor Science 7. And then I will add the class. And it popped up right here. So now I will submit. And it made my change. So if I need to make changes later again, I would just go right here where it says Add or Edit Requests. And now I'm done with everything on the computer. And I'll just need to double check that what I entered on the computer matches my paper copy, my course request form, and that course request form has to go into the office. It's very important that we turn our course request forms into the office because sometimes I look at them over the summer um, and match what's in the computer. And if something's happened in the computer, I always have your elective choices as a fallback. If you have any questions, you can always ask your history teacher.